How's it going there, YouTube? Well, I got a little video going on here, and I kind of got ahead of myself before I picked the camera up. Back into the carburetor of this cockshot ED, I had initially taken it apart and cleaned it, uh, unseized the choke, and made sure everything was free and moving and whatnot. The float looked okay from visual, but I did not do a, a buoyancy test, I guess they call it a buoyancy test, if it floats or not. I uh, kind of wish it did, but I was kind of thinking, okay, it's probably going to be okay. But when I took it back apart, Initially, when I got this tractor, I couldn't turn the fuel on to check this. Uh, so I got the sediment bowl, and when I had the fuel turned on, I was trying to start the tractor, I realized I wasn't getting any fuel up to the cylinders. So I took the carb back apart, and I had discovered a pinhole in the float of this uh, carburetor, and that's what's keeping us from getting gas in the cylinders. I initially thought it might be the needle was stuck, but the needle was not. So how are you going about checking this? There's two different ways, and I did option two, but I'll show you guys what to do. So one way you can check for a pinhole in your float. Okay. This is the float out of the ED here. Uh, initially, what I did, and I filled this bucket up with water about three quarters of the way. And I put the float in there, and it did float. But what you should be able to see is air bubble was coming out of the float where your pinhole is. I didn't see nothing. So I went with option number two. Option two is you can boil the gas out of the float and you, where the vapors come out, that's where your pinhole is. I actually discovered a little split in mine. Uh, so I'm gonna solder that back shut. I think I have uh, Rosencore solder here. I'm pretty sure I have a soldering iron somewhere in my uh, tool collection over there. It's been a long time since I've done it, but it can be done. But what you're looking for, and how you know there's a pinhole, if you take your float, I don't know if you'll hear it now, Take it and shake it if you hear liquid inside. Yeah, you can hear a little bit in there. Uh, kind of already started the repair process, so it's uh, kind of hard to hear on the camera, but I had quite a bit of gas in there. I already boiled some of it out of there. But what else you can do, and I'll show you guys here on video, when you discover where your pinhole is, you can drill a very, very, very small hole, probably about uh, maybe a 16th or a 32nd of an inch, or whatever my smallest Dremel bit is, I'm gonna use that. And then we'll solder it up. So we'll do a little bit of carb repair here on camera. So I'm gonna try to get it on video here. So you see our fractures just right there a little bit. But so you guys can see here. Too far. Mm -hmm. Apparently, I'm a little bit off my camera skill. It's a little bit rusty, but yeah, there's a little fracture right there. Right at the end of my fingernail. So, I'm going to drill a little hole in that with my Dremel tool and drain the rest of the gas out. And then, I'm going to come in here with my Dremel tool and just clean this up a little bit. And uh, we'll solder it up. Okay, well, I drilled a hole in the float and I drained it all out. I ground the crack here a little bit. I'm not sure if maybe we got a little separation of the seam here too as well, so I might put a little bit of solder on top of that too just to seal it up. And when we're all done, we'll uh, sand it down and polish it up a little bit so it's nice and light, and that way we should be back in business. All right, I kind of got ahead of myself here in my video, but that's what we got now. I'm gonna polish it up and clean it up a little bit so that we don't add too much weight to this float because it's still gotta remain buoyant. I'm gonna dunk it in a bucket of gas here in a minute or two and we'll make sure it floats. I'll put it back together and see what the ED will do. So that's the video for next time. Anyway, if you guys like what you see, as always, please comment, raise, subscribe. Thanks for watching.